Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. I hope you guys have been enjoying this playthrough of Lost Judgment. Today we are finally possibly going to get some answers from Sawa Sensei. She said she would meet us. So let's see where the story is going to take us today. Hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you for watching. See you guys in the comments. It's time to meet with Sawa Sensei. She said the place is on Isezaki Road. Okie dokie. Let's go see the hot teacher. Plage. Plage? Plage? This is where Sawa Sensei told me to come. Yeah, I think I see her on the second floor there. giant cocktail umbrella around <laughs> oh they're Sawa distracting sensei. yagami while stereo high school class two two yes <laughs> yagami your girl's in trouble um sir take your break, uh -huh. take your break. you guys don't say much do you after this is over you better start talking And tell me what you know! Keep going. Yo. Need a hand with these guys? Huh? Who did? Good job holding them back on your own. Dude. You're not the only hero here. Uh, but, but. I mean, where did you even come from? I was watching <laughs> from inside, man. Okay. You shouldn't get involved. Relax, fella. Allow me to show you how it's hey, done. Hold on. Listen up. I'm just gonna warn you, I'm a better fighter than this guy. 
Excuse huh? you? <laughs> what is it? Fuck. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. Thanks for making them slink into the night before I could even ask who they were. Huh? Later. Oh. <laughs> so ungrateful. Um, can I help you? I came here to meet someone. I'll just check upstairs real quick. Sensei. Are you okay? Did someone get here before me? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can say. Dang I can't it. tell you anything you don't already know. Uh, what happened up here? Did someone come to intimidate you? Someone who might be involved? I couldn't make out who the woman was. She had sunglasses on. But what did she say to you? That I need to stay away from this. The whole Mikoshiba kun case. And then she said that you need to do the same. Me too? Yes. And what if I were to refuse? If you said no. Then she told me I should give you this picture. This is Miko Shiba. I'm so sorry, but I... I'm leaving. Wait! I get it. At least let me walk you home. Just stop! I don't want anything to do with this! If you come back to the school, I'd appreciate it if you would stop talking to me. There's nothing I can do to help you anymore. So basically a threat. This is what we did to Miko Shiba. And we will, we could do the same to you if you keep poking your nose. Quick search mode. About quick search mode, it's useful examining pieces of evidence. The left side of the screen provides a complete view of the object to be examined. The right side is the enlarged view. This is where the evidence you can examine will appear. Press X while the cursor is over a particular area to examine it more closely suspicious hey okay, examine the face he's in a pretty nice suit was he on his way to teach when he was abducted uh what the yep it's gotta be hiro mikashiba after he got worked over guess he took a beating at some point and then he freaking died hey suspicious or his hands tied behind his back? No way he could have escaped that. Hey. What the? Hey. So much rubble. Where exactly is this? I don't recognize it. The corpse was found in Ijincho, if I remember right. The woman who gave this to Sawa Sensei must be involved in some way with whoever killed Mikoshiba. Otherwise, she wouldn't have this picture. In that case, were those guys just now the ones who killed Mikoshiba? But why would they come after me when the police have already kicked off their own investigation and everything? Still so many unanswered questions. New info has been added to the case file. That would be the white mask of the Yokohama Liomon. These guys would break your knees for the right price. So they're just a bunch of thugs for hire? Pretty much. Well, anything else I can do for you? I've earned something of a reputation here in this town. But you've got a face I haven't seen anywhere before. Why are these goons picking a fight with you? Got any ideas? Mm, I've got a hunch. But I'm gonna keep it to myself. A tight wad, huh? Didn't I just bail your ass out? 
I can't read that. A handyman? It's Kuana. You got trouble here, I'm the one you call. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can handle shit the cops won't deal with either. Handyman, Jin Kuana. Not exactly a service I'm in need of at the moment. Crossing that line is tough, and I prefer to do it myself. Oh, really? And what line of work would that be? I'm a private detective in Comro, Joe. What is it now? Some competition just showed up on my turf and made a scene, man. How would you feel if the situation was reversed? You wouldn't tolerate any disrespect, would you? So state your name, and then you say, Sorry, Kuana, I made a bit of a ruckus here. Who the is heck How does... high up the food chain is a handyman in this town? <laughs> I'm just trying to teach you some manners. People let you teach manners around here? You can't even exchange cards right. I see you know how to block a kick. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, mister... I'm a better fighter than you. We'll see. I'll show you. With my snake style. Oh, this is like our first boss fight. Oh, that now was like crazy fancy. style. How's this? Hey, what else you got? Oh, a lot, but. <laughs> Bring it up. Let's go. Let's go. Man, snake style is fun. Oh shit, he got me there. He got me there. I don't think so, buddy. Ow. That sliding kick is tough. Better than I was expecting. I thought you were better than me. Uh, right back at you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, you want to tone it down, or you want another lesson? I'm listening. You don't know when to give up. Time's up, both of you. The cops are almost here. Saved by the bell. Sugira kun. Huh? You know each other? Huh? After we get out of here. Come on, let's use the back way. Friend of yours, buddy? Seriously? How do a couple of grown ass men end up bickering like that? He started it! Finishing what he started. <laughs> Yagami yeah. and I are literally the same you person. You can thank Sugihira kun here that you're still standing. How do you even know this guy? Uh, Kuwana san's our senpai here in Ijincho. He's the local handyman. Yeah, I've, I've met him. He's got tons of connections both above and below ground. So, definitely a higher tier of service than us. <sighs> Have you been working together? No, but we did pay our respects before we opened our office. 
bowed our heads, asked for his blessing, all that. Unlike someone, Sugira kun knows his manners. Settle down. So, Tuck, who were those idiots back there? Kuwana-san says they're a gang, the Yokohama Liumang. Specifically, Liumang assassins, called the White Masks. They were surprisingly inept back there, though. Nah, they just didn't know who they crossed. Hold up, assassins? Why would someone put a hit out on Yagmi-san? Maybe they were just out to scare you. I mean, I doubt even the Liumang would take someone out in public. They don't like crowds. Whatever the case, can you find out who hired them? I prefer to know who wants me dead. No can do. Even they don't know their clients. They get all their gigs piped in from the dark web. Good news is, you can hire them yourself, too. Want me to hit them up for you? No thanks. I'm good on the contract killing front. Man, oh man. What kind of shit did you step in? If you're gonna make a mess in this town, I want in. Some things are better left to the locals. Especially when it starts turning gray. Fine by me. What is? Having someone around who knows the ins and outs of Ijincho, man. Besides, don't you owe him for saving your ass from the white masks? He didn't save my ass. I was I was doing fine. Pull the stick out, buddy. I can tell he's cool. Yo, wanna grab a drink? On me. <laughs> now here's a kindred spirit. You're on, but I'm getting round two. <laughs> See? I knew you were half bad. Wait, you don't mean now, do you? You coming with, Tuck? Nah, uh, not tonight. I'm heading back to the agency. Got a few things to sort out. Your loss, as they say, always take what comes, never chase what leaves. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Except maybe a little more fancy. <laughs> it's like we're already old friends. Guess I'm making the trek back to 99 alone. It's hard to imagine. And you're saying Sawa Sensei was given this picture? Right. And it must have really shaken her up. She wouldn't even stick around to have a chat. Some mysterious woman handed her the photo. She's got to be linked to Hiro Mikoshiba's murder in one way or another. If I had to guess, she's working with or for Ehara. But I couldn't tell you how they're connected. It might even be that she's the one who hired the Yokohama Liomong to attack you at that restaurant. If they're telling you to drop the Mikoshiba case, they're connected too. <laughs> a threat like that might have worked on a run-of-the-mill detective in over his head. But how do you think you even got on their radar at all, Yagamishi? Mikoshiba's case is so big they needed hired muscle to stop you? If I'm that much of a thorn in their side, the police investigation is worse. Yeah, that's true. Even if they stop you in your tracks, Kanagawa police would just pick up the trail right where you left off. I have to figure. I'm not the one they were really there to threaten into staying silent. It was Sawa-sensei. Four years ago, when Toshiro Ihara killed himself, apparently, she thought Mikoshiba was the one bullying him. I set up that meeting with her so she could tell me more about what really happened at the time. But as of now, someone's pretty bent on making sure she doesn't reveal that. That'd be my guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid their threats were actually pretty effective. Sawa-sensei's lips are sealed now. There's not much we can really do about it. Don't worry. I'm not near done yet. Besides, they've already made one big mistake. Yeah? They hired a gang thinking they could scare a detective off the scent. No way in hell they're expecting me to double down even harder on it. <laughs> You're totally right. That was a rather massive oversight on their part. That night, the news broke on every channel and across the internet that the corpse found in Ijincho had been identified. Every student, teacher, and faculty member at Serio High School would know how Hiro Mikoshiba died. The details were heartbreaking, and a lot of lives were about to be turned upside down. Chapter 3 completed! Red Knife.
the alleged bully Hiro Mikashiba turns up dead. There is no mistaking the motive in his murder. As Yagami looks into the heart of the matter, a suicide four years prior, he is met with brutal backlash from the underworld. Why does Yagami face resistance at every turn? As night falls over Ichincho, the answer slips further into darkness. Yes, we have grief counselors on site. Hello? You've reached yes. Serio High School. Ah, uh, yes. It's tragic news. Oh, boy. Miko Shibakun was one of our student teachers here, and the school is coping with it as best we can. Of course. Yes, our parents and guardians have every right to be upset about this. Yes. Oh, yes. We're, now we're to the murder victim found in Izazaki Ijingsho. Yes. Authorities announced that they have identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba, a student teacher at Seiryo High School. Autopsy reports indicate the cause of death was blood loss from a sharp object. Mikoshiba was oh. as a missing person two months So, October, what's the plan today, fellas? Honest, this hangover is kicking my ass. I'm gonna be kinda useless. Uh, maybe don't drink until sunrise. That's no good. Without you, Kaito-san, who's going to be the brains of this whole operation? <laughs> You'll have to manage, man. I figure I'll head back to Serio High today. I should check in on Sawa-sensei, see how she's holding up. She does she's not want to see you. She's got shoulders now, huh? Pretty teacher like her doesn't deserve it. Uh, I think the last time, the last thing she said to us was... Right from the outset, Sawa-sensei flat out denied that Mikoshiba ever bullied Toshiro Ahara. But then we learned she confronted him about his actions four years ago. Which means she was starting to suspect he was the bully. Then some chicken shade shows up, makes some threats, and suddenly teaches lips are sealed shut, huh? Uh-huh. Whoever she was, she has to be involved with the murder. How else could she have Mikoshiba's picture from right before he died? It's almost like the killer was trying to hide any trace of bullying. And if so, that's pretty bizarre. Why is that? I mean, if Mikoshiba really was the bully, why bother covering that up? Wouldn't it work in their favor if word of that spread? That way the murder would be, I don't know, more justified? Yeah, I do see the logic there. Okay. But what gets me is, why would Sawa-sensei change her answer like that? Have you considered she may have been pressured to hide the truth? Perhaps by an overcautious superior? I wouldn't put it past Chairman Okuda to pull something like that. I doubt he has that kind of sway over her, though. Sawa-sensei doesn't exactly mince words with him. Guess we'll have to ask her directly if we really want to know. Yeah, but didn't she make it pretty clear you need to keep your distance? What kind of a detective would I be if I gave up because of that? <laughs> Point taken. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, sure is. Help me kick this damn hangover. <laughs> Kaito, that's not helping. Say what? Might as well hang back, Sugira. Only I can get in and out of the school without raising a red flag right now. Let's go talk to Sawa Sensei and we'll pick up this sub story after. I don't think we're in a hurry for it. Sawa Sensei should be on the second floor, I think. Teacher's Lounge. Unless she's in her classroom, which is also on the second floor. Excuse me, Yagami-san? Huh? Koda-san, what's up? Did a teacher call you over? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Okay. I saw it on the news earlier. Mikoshiba-sensei was killed, but you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah. I figured you knew something. Yes, that's why you've been asking about him. 
You should have told us, man. He I couldn't. couldn't. I knew how hard you guys would have taken it. You know who did it? I mean, a lot for us to know. Seeing how he looked after us and all. That's what we're trying to figure we're out. We're still in the dark about that, mostly. Unless you guys have any leads. All we have to go on is he was probably killed soon after he stopped going to class. So... He really was murdered. He said on TV it took them two months to find the body. Did that mean it happened on the day he went missing? A good theory, Matsun, but you're starting to sound like one of those mystery club geeks. Oh, They're probably accepting what did Sawa Sensei tell you? She give you anything solid? Nah, we didn't really get into it yesterday. Way too many, uh, other things came up. Damn. It's just... It's hard hearing all this, man. Will you at least keep us posted if you find out anything? No promises, I'm afraid. But hey, I'm glad you guys are warming up to me. I'm Matsui, by the way. That's more like it. Could you keep me in the loop, too? I didn't like Mikoshiba-sensei much, but I never imagined this. Now I'm kind of... conflicted about the whole thing. I get that. Anyway, I should get going. They should all join the mystery book club, and then we can all solve it together. And it really will will feel like a Persona game, huh? Hey, Sawa Sensei. Look, I know I can't keep you off campus. I don't have that kind of authority. But would you please stop bothering me? Can you at least tell me what happened yesterday? Enough! How many times must I repeat myself? This is going about as well as I expected it to. She's not going to give me the time of day if I keep pushing like this. Guess I'll have to make do with just checking in on her. Uh, okay. Um. You want me to spy on her? No. That's my next objective. I wonder if this picture of Mikoshiba was taken where they found the body. This location must be somewhere near Jincho, and if I'm going to stay on this case, I need to look into everything. Hey, Tsukumo, it's me. You think you could pin down where Mikoshiba's body was discovered? Of course. In fact, I can do that pretty quickly. Why? Did you want to go there now? That's the idea. Okay, but do note that it's been a few days since they found him. The police may have already scooped up the evidence. Yeah, but I want to check it out anyway. Then I can decide if it was a waste of time. <laughs> In other words, you've got a detective's intuition? What a superpower to have. Okay, here we go. They found Mikoshiba's body in an abandoned building near Sakura River. It's near a small park. On the second floor of the building, specifically. The first floor is just a bunch of empty boutiques. You're the man, Tsukumo. Thanks. All right, now we're really detectiving. Here we are. An abandoned building near the Sakura River. This must be where Mikoshiba's body was found. How we gonna get in? The lock looks easy to break, but it's still daytime and there are people around. I should see if there's another way in. What the? What? Suspicious. Should I just break the lock and force my way in? No. I shouldn't. I think it's time to parkour. Parkour, parkour. Oh, we're blocked. Uh, 
Oh, what's this? Hmm. Suspicious. Guess that's not what the game wants me to look for, though. We go around this way. Ah, suspicious. Look at that. Hey. Broken fencing, huh? I think I can get through with a little effort. I'll have to head through the rear of the building. Well, if the front won't work, I'll just have to improvise. Made my way through it. Now hopefully there's a way in on this side. Aha, an open window. I can use it to sneak in. I need something to give me a boost if I'm gonna climb up there. Let's see if I can find something. Look for an entry point. What the? Ugh. Here's good, I can climb up from this spot. Okay. You can get through these areas by taking a running start and then pressing circle at the exact right time. Wall running! You can cross large gaps by running along a wall. Press X to sprint towards the gap, then circle. You can also swing across iron bars to clear large gaps. The process is very similar to wall running. Press X and then circle. Okay. X and circle. Wow, Yagami, you're a pro. Uh. Alright, be careful. I don't get tetanus or anything. Hold on. Run. Well, there's not really much space for me to get a running start, but I don't need that much. Oh, my inventory full. Um, I can't climb over this gate right here. Do they want me to sprint? I'm confused. was just to trick me to get me off the scent where I really needed to go. Wait, what? No. Jump up. Jumping while climbing. While climbing, move left stick and press circle to jump to another section of the wall. If you take proper position, you'll be able to make a jump. Position. Jump. Mysterious fruit on this rusty bird shit filled railing. I think that is not something we want to eat. Probably. Alright, we're in. Hello? Anybody here? Coming through. This looks like the place. Where exactly was the body? There's got to be some clues that'll give me that. I think it was right there. Well, that big arrow is probably a really good clue. This huh? right here. Are these burn marks? Mm -hmm. 
They didn't clean it up the blood? Hmm. Burn marks on the floor, and it looks like there's red powder dusted on the surface. Red powder. Something to make the fire burn? Suspicious. Is it normal for them to just leave the, the blood the? on the floor after... Hmm. Maybe they want to keep... Keep the evidence there, like, hmm. in case they need to come back and collect more samples Suspicious. or something? This black stain has got to be blood. So is this where Mikoshiba's body was? So they, do they basically keep the evidence there until, like, the investigation is complete and they have like their they they have like their they're done basically they're all done with like all their suspects and and all that kind of thing maybe i don't know what's up shamurai until the case is closed yeah 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 okay got it new info has been added You'd think with all the games that I do, like investigations on crimes and stuff, I would know these things. <laughs> right, I was thinking that too, like this place, there's no foot traffic here. It's an abandoned building, so as long as they keep it closed off, there's no reason for anybody to need to be here to conduct their business or their home or whatever. That arrow must indicate the body's location. I guess the killer liked to have everything lined up. This building matches up with the photo, so Mikashiba was alive when he was brought here. Which means, this isn't just where the bo his body was dumped, it's where the murder actually happened. Someone's coming up? Crap, the cops just had to come back to the scene now. Hey, I heard something. Who's there? State your name and purpose. Uh, well... Get uh, some backup over here. Hey, now wait a second. Can we maybe talk this out? Get your hands up and turn around. Oh great. Does this make Who us are a you suspect? And what were you up to? Takayuki Yagami. The Yagami Detective Agency. Yeah, in Kamurocho. Weren't you the guy at Serio yesterday? I could have sworn I saw your face there. Huh? Maybe. The name's Watanabe, Kanagawa PD Division 1. Charmed, I'm sure. Watanabe. This fella here is Sakurai. Sup? <laughs> Sup? So, you think barging into a crime scene was a real bright idea? What? I thought you guys were done here. I figured I could take a look around. Uh huh. What? You wouldn't happen to be working with Genda Law, would you? Huh? You hear on Shirosaki Sensei's business? Saori Shirosaki, right? The grouchy one. Okay, how'd you know? Well, it started when Mikoshiba's body turned up. Once our investigation kicked off, we found out about that pervert cop in Tokyo. Seems he knew where the body would be. But when we went to go see him, HQ pumped the brakes. They said no interviews on this one. Much to our amusement, we ended up being directed to Shirosaki, the perv's lawyer. So these cops went with Saori-san to learn about the Ahara incident. The being that Genda Law visits in Kamrojo, and you're a Kamrojo detective working your case. That means either the two of you are connected, <laughs> or I'm really losing my touch. Well. You've certainly got my number. Now that you know, how about taking these cuffs off? <laughs> Smooth, but the jury's still out on you, pal. 
First, you got any thoughts on all that? On anything specific? The part about HQ locking us out of interviewing a horror smart guy. Here we are with a material witness who it turns out knew about a corpse rotting away for two months. And those Tokyo chuckleheads just shut us out. Balls even for those tight asses. When he says HQ, I'm assuming that's Tokyo PD. Seems they're stepping on the local police's toes. Any crimes that happen in Ijunsho fall under Kanagawa PD's jurisdiction, not Tokyo's, which explains why Watanabe here might be ticked off. Ahara was Tokyo PD, so wouldn't they want to protect him? They probably want it handled discreetly. Nah, <sighs> if only it were that simple. This isn't about protection. They'd get burnt real bad if they tried to bury this shit under the rug. Besides, not only is this cop a nasty creep, he's got ties to a fucking murder. Another prefecture blows the lid on that, the top brass may as well kiss their jobs goodbye. Heads would roll. They've got to wash the shit stains off their laundry to keep their asses clean. Yeah, I could see how that makes sense. Anyway, so HQ told us their boys would look into Ahara. What we had to do was hand them our notes on the murder. Can you believe that crap? Like hell we're gonna bend over for them. But look where that's got us. Now nobody's interrogated Ahara. Are Kanagawa and Tokyo PD really fighting over who gets the credit? Don't tell me they're that petty. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. While the higher-ups play intel hoarding games, Ahara is just sitting pretty. Shit. The cop's supposed to be chasing down the perps. Instead, here I am with my hands tied, bitching to a P.I. <laughs> well, I'm Poor your guy. I was gonna take you down to the station with the squeeze on you. But if you're a half-decent detective, maybe we could collaborate. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that sounds yeah, fun. I mean, you came all the way from Kamurocho to sniff around here, right? I highly doubt you found much. But tell me something I don't know, and maybe the cuffs will fall off. You proposing a deal? Depends on if what you've got is worth making one. This is going to be such a waste of time, but I want info from these cops myself. Probably best to collaborate with these guys and give them a little more insight. Okay, so we have a the photo of Hiro Mikishiba given to Sawa Sensei by a, a woman hiding her identity. This is a big clue that they don't have. They already know about this stuff, but they don't have this. It depicts a still living Hiro Mikishiba bound to a chair. There are injuries to his face that are likely from assault. It's believed this picture was taken shortly before his murder. Okay, how about this? What the hell? Hiro Mikoshima. Was this taken here? Right before he died? Where did you get this? What kind of shit you trying to pull? I could tell you better with the cuffs off. <laughs> Craftier than I thought. Fine, let him loose. All right, let me get this straight. Right before you met up with this Serio High teacher, a strange woman showed up with this photo. Yeah, I couldn't get a good look at her, but it seems whatever threat she made worked. Sawa Sensei wouldn't say a thing after that. Saw was the one who supervised Mikoshiba for his student teaching program. I know that. So, this woman you're talking about must have had it in with the culprits. I know they were working in a group. That's quite a revelation. What makes you so sure about that? Sakurai, show them the photo of the body. And spare me the protocol lecture. I'm sick of this going nowhere. If Hotshot here is going to look into Ahara for us, we may as well take advantage of it. You're the boss, Nabi-san. Ugh, this has had to be two months after his death. The body looks pretty big decayed. Yeah. Miko Shiba was last seen alive two months ago, October 7th, 6.30 a.m. He was talking to his mother as he exited their house back in the city. Since there were no other sightings of him, it's likely he was abducted a short ways from his home. This had to be done by vehicle, as common sense would tell us. 
So there must have been at least two suspects, a driver and a handler. If it were me, I'd have put three on the job. So that's why you figured it was a group effort. Sounds logical to me. Mm-hmm. Now, according to the autopsy report, they found food in the poor guy's stomach. Based on how digested it was, we can assume he was killed at least an hour after breakfast, putting it around 7.30. And not long after, he was brought here. His throat was slit with a knife. Ugh. Ugh. Get all that hot shot. I got it. So on the day Mikushiba went missing, he was abducted near his home, and he was killed right here no earlier than 7.30 a.m. And what was our friend Ahara doing at that time? The old perv was walking through Ikebukuro's ticket gates around 7.43 a.m. This was stated in court and corroborated by multiple security tapes. But if that's true, he couldn't possibly have killed Mikoshiba. It's 30 kilometers between here and Ikebukuro. Yeah, that's the meat of his alibi. Yet somehow, he knew Mikoshiba's body would be discovered two months after his arrest, despite being in custody the whole time. But there's no doubt he's connected to the killers. If we could just put the screws to him, he'd squeal. Damn it, HQ! Why the hell are we out here working the site if it's already been picked clean? All right, Nabe-san. Deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. But do you see why we've got to get someone in to talk to Ahara? Hell, big Shirosaki-sensei for a visit if you have to. HQ can't say squat about his attorney visiting. Hell of a cop. We only just met and I'm halfway to becoming his gopher. And again, I guess I do the same thing. What you said raises some questions of my own about the crime scene and the body. Oh yeah? Ask away then. Now here's a chance to get some pertinent facts. I need to ask what evidence the police collected from the scene. Okay, let's start from the top regarding the time of death. And before we do that, let's say hi to Marcus. How am I? You loved Lost Judgment? I am loving it so far and i'm good i just I went to work today came home took a shower ate a salad now i'm here investigating a murder good times okay so regarding the time of death how narrow is the window for mikoshiba's estimated time of death Based on how digested his breakfast was, he was killed somewhere between 7.30 and noon on the morning of October 7th. Pretty impressed you can narrow it down like that with a two-month-old corpse. Yeah, well, the window gets much bigger if we consider the possibility that the killers forced Mikoshiba to eat. At any point after the kidnapping, they could have made him eat a typical Mikoshiba family breakfast. It's possible. All they had to do was make him say what he usually eats. Good. We're on the same page. Now, if we take into account the decomposition of the body, Mikoshiba's estimated time of death actually ranges from 7.30 a.m. on October 7th all the way to the end of that month. So about three weeks. Three weeks? That's a massive gap. Can't we narrow it down further? The body's just too decomposed to do that. But expand the time frame all you want. Ehara was in custody through the whole thing. So we couldn't have done the deed. Right. He spent two months behind bars. Hate to think a different crime got him such a strong alibi. In any case, someone else killed Mikoshiba. If we could just get in the same room as him, we'd know who that is. What else? Regarding the cause of death. What was the victim's cause of death? The news called it a massive hemorrhage. Yep, they slit his throat and let him bleed to death. After tying him to a chair, the killer stood behind him. And lifting his chin with his left hand, his right hand slit the knife. I don't need Sounds all the like details. Sounds like you guys have that bit on lockdown, huh? It's one of the few things we're sure of. Don't need the, the visual details there. Regarding the burn marks. I noticed the burn marks on the floor in the shape of an arrow. What's with that? Somebody lit flares here, the ones that shoot red smoke. 
It was only a matter of time before the fire department got called, and they're the ones who stumbled on the body. Pretty obvious the culprit set up a smoke signal to make sure the body got found. They probably had the timing all worked out with Ahara so he could predict the body's discovery for maximum impact. And that's exactly what he did, just as the judge handed down the sentence. What would be the point of that, though? <laughs> for all I know, he just wanted to blow everyone's minds. Okay, what about the state of the body? What shape was the body in when it was found? Full of maggots and decomposing bad. Yeah. His hands were zip-tied behind the chair, securing him in place. The cause of death was the throat wound, but before that, they really worked him over. Rough way for the guy to go. Damn. They even broke all his fingers. On both hands. That sounds... painful. Fucked up, right? I'm guessing a professional did this. Could be Yakuza, could be Mafia. Take your pick. We've got some guys checking that angle out too, just to make sure there's no stone left unturned. What else? What else? Okay, we have the the building owner. Doesn't this place have a manager? I'm sure it wasn't always like this. There is a property owner. He's been around Ijincho forever, but the building's been deserted for two years. Apparently, there was a padlock to keep the homeless out, but it was long gone by the time they found the body. Broken by the killers, most likely. Hey. Regarding the murder weapon. Has the murder weapon been found? No. There were no weapons at the scene. A real shame. That'd be some decisive evidence. So when you said it was a knife, was that a guess based on analyzing the wound? I wouldn't call it a guess. The coroner outright stated that the weapon was a sharp, knife-like instrument. Okay, I guess that's it. I think I'm starting to get the picture here. That should be it for questions. Tell me, you detectives out in Camarocho always this hands-on? Sorry, what? I'm saying you guys were quick. We had barely set foot in Serio High, and you already had the run of the place. Hell, you even closed in on that Sawa Sensei and got a meeting with her. I was just lucky to have been there on another case. Is that right? What? What's wrong? Somebody's spying on us with binoculars. No shit? Three men, thirties probably. The one with binoculars is wearing a black jacket. My number's on my card! <laughs> Bye! Y uh, Yakami! Time to do my thing. Hey, wait up! You won't get away. This is how us Kamurocho PDs work. <laughs> or PIs, whatever. Soccer balls, beer cases, or buckets may be on the road. When you get near, press quickly press the button that appears to kick it at your target. If you nail your target, they'll lose health. If you're, they're too far away, or they turn a corner and lose visuals, the kick, uh, kicked object may not hit them. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let's do that again. Hold up. Oh, I missed a, a bottle there. Oh, here we go. Play. Give me a break here. Hold up. Again. Aw. That looks like something I could pick, but I guess I didn't make it in time. 
We almost got him anyways. these chase scene segments with each game damn hot shot you're quick on your feet so let's hear why this fool had eyes on us he claims he just wanted to see the scene for himself it's true ask the other two guys with me they'll be here any minute so you were here gawking is that it <laughs> better than busting in like you own the place I thought that was water under the bridge. <laughs> so, who are you? Why'd you run? I ran because I saw a cop jump out a window and charge at me. Are you saying you'd stick around if you saw that? <laughs> he thinks you're a cop. Should we get you a badge and a hat? I'd be honored. <laughs> Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Well, he seems cooperative. Age 30. What do you do for work? Oh, I'm just a professional pencil pusher. Biotech, planning and management. Are your other two pals biologists too? No, uh, one's an investor and the other's a consultant. We all went to high school together. It says here you have a Tokyo address. What brings you to Yokohama? Oh, well, I'm organizing a class reunion uh, in Chinatown. So I came to scope out the location in advance. This ain't the way to Chinatown, pal. Oh, uh, we thought since we came all the way to Yokohama, we might as well peek at the crime scene. <laughs> Pretty morbid idea, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. What high school did you all attend? Uh, Kurakawa Academy. A private school in Tokyo. So it's not Sadio High. Man, are these guys seriously not linked to the crime in any way? Hey! Over here! We'll need to verify your buddy's identification as well. I suggest you all cooperate. Nabi-san! All right, you jokers are free to go. Appreciate you being so civil. Oh, it was really nothing? <laughs> Guess that settles it. They're just dumbass rubberneckers. <laughs> Tough break, huh? After all you went through chasing them down. I don't mind. I'm out to always swing for the fences. Yeah, well, your strikeout was pretty amusing. The guy who goes down swinging is all right in my book. Now that that's settled, give my regards to Shirosaki Sensei. If you get some dirt on Ahara soon. Well, that was interesting. I'm starting to piece things together. It's good timing for a chat with Saudi san actually. <gasps> yes, but for now I should head back to Yokohama 99, then I should give Saudi san a call. Can't we go see her in person? Alright, people have been talking about a human body model that moves and even walks around at night. Oh, this there's two sub stories here. It's probably bull, but I may as well check it out while I'm here. Not busy right now. I am busy. I'm looking for UFOs. Well, shoot. Hello? Huh? What? No way. Don't tell me that thing actually walks around. No. I just really need to get more sleep. It looks like it went upstairs. Maybe I'll poke around up there, just to be sure I'm not crazy. I can hear something nearby. Maybe the noise amp can pinpoint where they are.
Oh, he said noise amp. What the hell? What's going on with the shadow on the ceiling? doing here oh ah! <laughs> what the holy shit it's real okay you're not getting away yo that's a freaky you we're chasing wait we are chasing a a walking running body model in the high school. This is a video oh, no. game. Oops, ow. What are you throwing at me? Whoopie cushion? You just threw his heart at me. <laughs> <laughs> video games, everybody. I present to you Japan. <laughs> Better catch him before he donates any more organs. <laughs> Hold up. Get him. You won't get away. What the hell are you? Ah, damn it. Hmm? What? Now that I've gotten a closer look, this kid just painted himself. At least he's got pants on. It's body paint? Hey, are you a student here? Hey. What are you doing, man? Is some kind of prank? Oh, crap. He's just wearing underwear. Oh my God. That is very impressive, Mangzors. How did he do that? He had to have somebody help him. What is this? At least a two-man operation here. Hmm. Ah, cribbing test answers. Gotta say, you've cooked up, cooked up the most complicated strategy for cheating I've ever seen. I know. I'm Teru Na Teruo Na Naito, a second year here. I've been failing behind this year, to the point that my teacher told me if I flunk another test, I'm gonna get held back. I don't care how stupid I look doing it. I just needed a passing grade. I'm sorry. Ah. I mean, good for you for not caring about appearances, but imagine with the amount of time it took you to get done up like that. You could have just studied, you know? Uh, I don't even have a good answer to that. But I mean, isn't it way faster to just look up the answers other people write down instead of trying to memorize them all? <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna fly with me. What's your grade even mean in the end if you cheated for it? You know, this kind of thing is grounds for suspension or expulsion, right? No way. I mean, seriously, a body model? Just... Why that specifically? Oh, well, if I got caught cheating, everyone would know, right? 
But if Mr. Gutsy came to life in class one day, running out of the room would really freak everyone out and keep him away instead of chasing after me. I also made some fake guts to throw at potential pursuers to slow him down. You know, like caltrops, but you already saw that. It's a decent exit strategy, right? Bold plan, but I suppose he's got a point. In all the chatter posts I saw about the model, nobody ever suspected it was really a student. A surprise such a shrewd kid's failing so badly. Although, I still got caught in the end, so I guess I still could have had a better plan. You ever end up finding the answer sheet? No. Last time I tried the faculty room, but it was locked. So tonight I started on the classrooms. All that effort dressing up, standing still, rooting around the desk drawers, and I came up with Jack Squat. The spooky story around school just boils down to this sad clown of a failure in the end. Maybe I could get a job in some kind of scientific circus. If those are actually real? <laughs> hey. Gotta say, you don't seem very regretful about this. No, no, I am. I really messed up. I know that. Sorry for putting you through all this trouble, Yagami-san. I didn't mean to scare you. Nope. Uh, you didn't scare me. Oh. All right. So, what's next? I know I made a commotion doing this, so first I'm going to apologize to my teacher. If he's willing to let this slide, then I guess I'll study my hardest and see how well I do on the test. I see. Well, if you plan on owning up to what you did and studying for your test, I guess there's not much left for me to say. Just leave the body painting to the art club, all right? No more posting up in classrooms like that. Yes, of course. Okay, you better get home and crack those books. Exams are right around the corner, aren't they? Yes, thank you. I'm really sorry, again. See you later. <laughs> I thought it was like a skin tight costume. I didn't think it was body paint. Good grief. Well, things should simmer down around here now, at least a bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's going home still dressed like that? Ah! Zombie! <gasps> I mean, ah! Zombie! Zombie! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, oh, oh! He really is the gutsiest kid at Sadio. Wonder how his teacher's going to take the news, though. I should talk to him next time I see him around school. If I see him around school. How will we recognize him? Uh, where all these people come from? <laughs>